Gotcha. My name is Ron Wood of Heartline Pictures. If I use this camera to photograph your wedding, I would have to pay you to let me photograph it. Just kidding. Um, this was from the early 1900s. First camera that had uh, this cam system that allowed the uh, lens to be to focus by coming in and out like that. First section, little pop-up uh, viewing um, area for the photographer. And interesting the way this camera closed up to be very compact. At least I think so. Uh, it folded up like this. So it was sort of like a spider. Spider's legs folding up. Very compact. So, um, more about my favorite places to photograph, um, do wedding photography in the city. Many couples ask me about uh, places by water, and I have two favorite places. Um, uh, one is at the foot of Spadina uh, and the foot of Bathurst Street. Um, it's called the Music Garden, and it's a new place that just opened up in the last few years. Um, and it runs along the waterfront between Spadina and Bathurst along uh, Queen's Quay. It's on the south side of Queen's Quay. And it has a beautiful garden with all these circular pathways through it. And uh, they, the landscaping they did in there was uh, magnificent. And there's also um, a boardwalk kind of uh, area where you can walk along and you're right on the water with all the, uh, all the boats that, uh, that are parked in the marina there. So it's a, it's a it's a really nice place. Um, you need a permit for there as well. Uh, my other place by the water uh, that I like is, uh, which a lot of people don't know about as well, is uh, Cherry Beach. And Cherry Beach is at the foot of uh, Cherry Street uh, in the east end of Toronto. Sort of runs almost south off of, um, sort of almost like the continuation of Parliament Street running south off of Lakeshore. And it's just the beach. Um, there's nothing else down there. There is a lighthouse. It's a little bit of a walk from the parking lot. But the beach is large. And it's sort of like uh, the beach is part of Toronto, except without all the people there. Uh, and the dogs and the wind sailors or the wind servers and stuff like that. Very secluded. Um, so uh, Cherry Beach you don't need a permit for. Uh, there is the Toronto Island as well, but just getting over there to uh, you know, on the ferry to get pictures, unless your wedding's over there. Uh, it's kind of a out of the way, kind of, and time-wise, it's kind of a stretch. So, two more places, uh, the Music Garden and Cherry Beach, great places by the water. Um, I will be talking more about my favorite places. That's all. Okay. I'm ready for my next video. Gotcha. My name is Ron Wood of Hardline Pictures, and if I used this camera to photograph your wedding, um, well, I couldn't use this camera to photograph your wedding. Uh, this was a Polaroid camera from the uh, 1970s. And uh, Polaroid is now obsolete because of uh, digital. Digital put Polaroid out of business because um, before there was digital and uh, people wanted immediate gratification to see their pictures immediately, this was the only method. So the film went in the back and you took a picture, you pulled it out, and you had to count anywhere from 15 to 60 seconds, depending on whether it was black and white or color. And then you peeled it apart, and there you were. You had your uh, instant, instant picture. Uh, but they are no longer around. So, um, further talks about my favorite wedding photography places in Toronto. Um, on my blog, uh, if you look at one of the galleries, Leanne and Yoon, um, 
um, that was photographed, that wedding took place at the King Eddie and the King Edward Hotel on King Street between uh, Victoria and Church Street is a um, well-known hotel in the city, a beautiful lobby, um, just magnificent lobby and uh, a lot of the rooms are really great as well. Uh, but the area is what I'm talking about, and if you take a look at that wedding, um, you'll see um, Yoon and Leanne wanted to walk a lot around that area. So we started out, uh, I started out shooting the guys walking through from the King Eddie through a parking lot down the street just south of the King Eddie. I think it's uh, Coburn Street. And one of their favorite bars was there, so they wanted pictures there. And then we walked over to the St. Lawrence um, Market. And just outside the St. Lawrence Market um, is a great view of Toronto looking west along Front Street. You have the Flatiron Building, which many people who want urban shots of Toronto want to have their photograph taken in front of the Flatiron Building because it's quite a unique, quite a unique building. So that's a great spot. And then we walked down some alleyways and sat in front of some restaurants. And, um, and then after the ceremony, which was at the King Eddie, we walked along Queen's, Queen Street with the family and the wedding party over to uh, St. James Park. Not to be confused with James Gardens in the west end of the city, which is like Edwards Gardens, two places that I call wedding factories, which I like to avoid because there's too many too many people and too many wedding groups. So St. James Gardens, uh, right across from the St. Lawrence Town Hall, is also an interesting place. It has a gazebo, and we did a lot of shots there. So for that e urban experience, um, that's a great uh, part of the city. Um, there's also other parts. Uh, where my office is at Richmond and Spadina, and I'm in an old warehouse, um, I photographed a uh, couple last year in the film industry and they wanted their photographs taken out the back of my building. There's a loading dock, beautiful roof garden, and the alleyways uh, have a feeling of uh, uh, early, early Chicago, New York kind of feeling. So I'll be talking more about my favorite photography places and that's all for now.